You're seeing these amazing double exposure effects popping up everywhere. You want to make one yourself, but you don't know where to start. Now, don't you worry. Today you'll learn how to make a simple double exposure effect in Photoshop. Step number one. Get yourself a black and white picture of a face and another one of some trees with a white sky. Then in Photoshop, drag the image of the face into your canvas. In the toolbar, click and hold the quick selection tool until this menu appears. Choose the object selection tool. Then in your canvas, drag a box around the person's face until it's selected. And now on the toolbar below, click the mask icon to isolate the subject and remove the background. Next, we're gonna add a background. To do that, click the new fill layer icon and choose new new solid color. Then in this window, make sure the color is set to white. Then click on OK. Now drag the background layer underneath the face picture to make it visible again. There you go. Next, drag the image of the trees into the project and position it however you'd like. Now to blend the trees with the person, make sure the trees layer is selected. Then go to the blending mode menu and set it to screen. You can still adjust the position of the trees to your liking. And that looks great already. Next we're gonna remove the line of the person's head that's still visible. To do that, click the new fill button in the layers panel and find levels. We only want this effect to work on the image of the tree, so we need to clip it. To do that, hold down Alt until this little arrow appears. Left click and that will clip it to the layer below. Now in the properties panel, move the right slider a little to the left until the edge disappears. Great, now to finish the effect, we're gonna make the mids a little darker. To do that, click the new fill layer button and find levels again. Just like we did before, hold Alt and clip the adjustment layer to the tree's picture. By the way, if you clip multiple fill or adjustment layers, they will still work on the picture beneath it. Now back in the properties panel, drag the mids a little bit to the right and there you go. Next we're gonna learn some more about the toolbar and you can learn everything about that right here in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.